What's up everybody? Today's video I want to talk a little bit about my favorite number one item lethal tactical in any Call of Duty game, the Claymore. What I really like about the Claymore is it's an excellent defensive tool in a wide range of game modes like Hardpoint and uh, Domination. Also, it can help you get more XP and more kills and especially get bonus XP through the Afterlife XP bonus. So in the video, I'm going to show you some examples of good placement for the Claymore in a different variety of environments throughout Call of Duty maps, as well as good placement and tips and tricks for certain game modes. You can get the most out of the Claymore in all of your loadouts. Okay, so I fired up a empty map here just to demonstrate some general placement of the Claymore in maps. This can apply to pretty much any map any game mode, any Call of Duty, just again very general placement tips for the Claymore to help you get the most out of it regardless of game mode. So, first spot I want to talk about again in any map is corners outside. Any tight corners or walls where the opponent doesn't have a clear view, it's a great place to put a Claymore. For example, on this tight corner here, I might put a Claymore here behind the wall or even on this side. Around this corner here, you might put it down here. So the reason this works well is because if you put the claymore around a sharp corner and an enemy is running through, boom. Now they might see the little beams coming out of the claymore, give it away. They might also be running a perk that lets them see it in advance. However, if they're running and super focused on a kill or a kill confirm tag or getting to a capture point, they may see it, but it might be too late. So on tight corners, sticking them out of view, and when they come running around the corner, you're going to get them more often than not. Another general placement spot would be ladders. So, for example, we have a ladder here. Some people like to put the claymores at the bottom of the ladder. I'm not a huge fan of that, because if you're running up to the ladder, you're probably going to see it. I like to instead put them on the top, up here. So off to the side maybe a little bit or even in the center. And here's the reason why. If a person is climbing up the ladder, they're not necessarily going to see where it is when they drop down. So, demonstrate that again. If you're running up the ladder, look where the view is. Going more straight up into the air, the claymore is hidden down here. So I really like placement on ladders. The top of the ladder, not the bottom of the ladder. Next a general placement guide would be doors. So. I disagree with the idea of putting claymores outside of the doors. More often than not, the reason for putting a claymore by the door is because we're inside protecting a team, protecting a capture point, or some other objective as well. So, for example, this door here, I don't want to put it necessarily too far back. You want it close to the door. I put it right in the center here, or if you want to get a little sneaky, off to the side. The benefit to putting it closer to the door on the inside that when they open the door and run in, they might see it. But again, if they're running through the door, especially if they plow through it like this, they have no chance to react to the claymore already too late. So for doors, putting it in a spot like this around the corner here. Next, I want to address, we have some stairs here. Where to put claymores on steps? Some people like to drop them right in the center or on the steps. Don't do that. Because if somebody is running up the steps, look where their view is. It is right on the stairs. They're going to see it. They're going to be able to disable it or go over it or around it. A better choice would be at the bottom of the stairs, putting it off to the side, like here or here. Because if you notice, when a person is running down the stairs, their view is going to be straightforward. They aren't going to be looking down here necessarily. So putting the claymore off to each side. Top of the stairs, same thing. There's an obstacle or a small wall. Putting the claymore here where it's hidden. It's a great way to pick up extra kills for people coming up the steps. So obviously at the bottom of the stairs, works best on the sides. Somebody is coming down the stairs. And for people coming up the stairs, best to put the claymore slightly off to the side, out of view. Because again, when they run down the stairs, their line of sight is straightforward. They're not looking down. When they run up the stairs, they're going to turn a corner and boom, get hit with a claymore. In the next segment, 
we're going to look at specific objective modes as well, and what might work best for them. The next I want to talk and show a little bit about where best to put claymores in objective location-based game modes, such as domination, capture the flag, headquarters, hardpoint, and search and destroy. In these game modes, it's very important that you're placing the claymore in a spot where the enemies are going to and where they're going to kind of run into because they want to get to that point captured as quickly as possible. So, for example, I've pulled up a domination point here. For domination, I really like to just stick the claymore as close as possible to the flag. Sometimes you're right on top of it. Anywhere in the securing point radius is fine, but I prefer as close as possible. Because a lot of times people are going to run in, they're going to power slide into it. That wasn't a very good power slide. But people are going to run to the point, and power slide in, and boom. You might see it, but if they're in the middle of the power slide, chances are they're going to run into it, and you're going to get that kill on the point as well. Obviously, this can also apply for hard point. The area is going to be a little bit bigger. Let's say anywhere in the area, if we imagine this is a hard point section here, anywhere around the perimeter, on tight corners, like behind a wall on the hard point, sometimes even just in the middle of the hard point, there's a lot of people there, or if there's a lot of smoke grenades or chaos going on, you can get away with putting it anywhere in the hard point. But in general, for hard point, I like to stick it around the corners and sides, behind obstacles on the hard point, so when people power slide or run in, you might see it, but don't have a chance to react or respond to it as well. For capture the flag, I would say put it as close to the flag as possible. For search and destroy, you may want to put it around the perimeter of where the bomb is located. However, you can also put it right next to the search and destroy item, because again, a lot of players are going to run in, power slide, so focused on the objective, they're not necessarily going to look down be your claymore placed there. In terms of the more general game modes, obviously the environmental tips in the first part of this video, those placements are going to work best where people are moving around the map a lot more. But for objective based points, certain points on the map, placing a claymore on the point as close as possible or in hard point around the perimeter, definitely going to work best. what about smaller maps, like the infamous shipment map? A lot of tight corners, a lot of action, not much place to go. What do you do with claymores in those situations where you have a really tiny map? Now in the objective-based modes, again like Domination Hardpoint, on the smaller maps, it's not going to matter too much. You'll like to get them on the point as quickly as possible. But for other game modes, like Team Deathmatch, you'll confirm there's a lot of chaos, a lot of running around. Chances are you're going to respawn going to get killed a few seconds after you respawn. It's incredibly frustrating. But with a claymore, as soon as you respawn, I like to get out there, start running, drop the claymore as quickly as possible anywhere on the map for these smaller maps like shipment. Those are my tips and tricks for getting the most out of the claymore in any Call of Duty. I hope you found them helpful and hope that I can get you more kills, more defense, and more afterlife in any Call of Duty match you play could also apply to the proximity mines as well. Now, I know some of you might be saying, well, yeah, but they can run a loadout that lets them see the claymore, see the proximity mine. However, a lot of players are just running around trying to get to those kill confirm tags, get to those capture points. They're not paying close attention quite often to where these claymores are hidden. Even if they notice it, oftentimes it's too late. If you like this video, please subscribe, please like. I'm also on Twitter and Twitch tags and links below. Thank you.